jumbo twist. Hello all, I wanted to come out here and show you guys how I got this jumbo twist hairstyle and I did have curls at the end. They're kind of like a little bit looser now. But if I have enough time, I would definitely show you guys the after results after I recurl the ends. But right now, I'm about to take this one down and then I'll show you guys how I do it. Okay, you guys, so I took the twist down. Here is that section. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to smooth some mousse on this and then I'm going to split this section in half and lay this piece of braid in here in the middle and then secure it with the rubber band and then that is how i begin my twist i'll try to see if i can get a good angle for you guys so you can actually see me doing that but i just want to tell you guys so i already sprayed my hair the section that i took out with my homemade organic rose water spray that is a good detangler leave-in conditioner it's very good for your scalp so right now i'm about to just take some of this edge and lock gel and i'm gonna just put some at the root And then I'm going to take my braid in here, lay it in the middle of my natural hair, and then I'm going to secure it with the rubber band. Previously, I already oiled my rubber band so that way there's no breakage to my hair, no damage done to my hair. And honestly, these twists are so lightweight. And then, just like that. Be sure to make sure your hair is smooth with some kind of product as you're doing these twists because if your hair... Um, it's pretty much a different texture than the braid in here. Then obviously you'll be able to see it. But yeah, so that is how I start my twist. And then I do feed in like a couple strands or two if I want it to be fuller. But yeah. Before you do start twisting, make sure that this is secure. You don't want it to be super, super tight. But you want it to have a decent amount of tightness to it that way. The beginning of your twist isn't slipping as you're twisting. I hope that makes sense. So. Now I'm just going to continue twisting and then I'm going to wrap the ends in a couple of pencils. Obviously, if you have primer rods, you can go ahead and use that. I'm just improvising with what I have. And I did have this style in previously for a week, like literally a week from today. And I'm literally just going to twist as far down as I can. And yeah, you guys, I will show you the finished result. But this is what the other curls look like. This is our twist. Y'all thought I was joking. Literally, grab the ends, 
wrap it around so you can't no more. Make sure it's like close to the bottom. I did take the eraser and I took the let out. And then grab a rubber band. And then obviously I had already curled this, but I'm gonna just go ahead and recurl it. And then I'm gonna do three more sections like this, but you guys can see, I'm gonna just dip this in hot water for, you know, like a minute or two. And I will show you guys the end results. Alrighty y'all, so this is the finished product. I hope you guys like this video. I just feel really loving this hairstyle and it definitely saves on time. For me and you can see the curls the curls it's like waves and if you want the curls tighter then obviously use a smaller rod or whatever you are using just make sure it's smaller um than like a pencil or whatever but yeah you guys this is the hair i'm obsessed so yeah, I might post a more in-depth tutorial over on YouTube. So please stay on the lookout for that. And I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Bye.